JJ, your reaction to this news, obviously you played there. Well, uh, I can't say I'm surprised. Uh, I think we've talked about this all season long that, uh, you know, there, there are consequences to uh, a lack of results. And this is a team, and I was part of those teams. We have not been past uh, the second round of the playoffs uh, since 2001. Doc was brought in to, 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 to change that. Uh, it's not all on Doc. I think, obviously, the coach probably bears the brunt of some of those consequences. Um, but, you know, look, Joel Embiid was hurt, not his best self. James Harden had some great games. But, again, closeout games, not his best self. This is not just on Doc, uh, but I can't say I'm surprised. Stephen A. Well, uh, when we want countdown on Sunday – um, and the Sixers lost the game, um, I said immediately that they just cost Doc Rivers his job. Um, I didn't want that to happen, but obviously I had anticipated it. Uh, and it's really, really unfortunate. He's been employed as a head coach in the NBA the last pretty much last 24 years. Um, we, we know his record, good and bad. Uh, we know the success that he's had. We've known there's about nine other coaches that have won over a thousand games. We know he's going to be a Hall of Famer. We know all of these things, but we also know that he's lost ten game sevens. Um, we understand that, um, and he's lost the lead on a several occasions: a three-two lead, a three-one lead. Um, and when your team, led by your superstar Joel Embiid and James Harden, are virtual no-shows. I'm sorry, literal no-shows. Um, and not one, but two consecutive closeout games, a game six in Philadelphia that they could have closed Boston out, a game seven in Boston where they got annihilated. You can catch First Take every weekday, 10 Eastern, on ESPN. Hands likes the matchup with seven to shoot, takes him to the free throw line. Big How it sounded on ESPN Radio as the Nuggets take game one of the Western Conference Finals, 132-126. Another triple-double from Jokic, who finished with 34 points. Not just any old triple-double. 21 boards and 14 times. He's a center. Jamal Murray added 31. AD with 40 points and 10 boards. And LeBron finished with 26-12-9 and nine in a loss in which the Lakers were trailing by 25 in the third quarter. Made it a one-possession game late in the fourth, but they did lose. Tune in tonight for game one of the NBA Eastern Conference Finals as the Celtics host the Heat. Coverage begins at 8 p.m. Eastern on most ESPN radio stations and on Sirius XM Channel 80. Meantime, San Antonio Spurs with the lucky lottery bounce. The 2023 NBA Draft Lottery was really, let's face it, See who got the right to select French super duper prospect Victor Wembayama, the seven foot five handles and outside shot Wembayama with the number one overall pick. Hornets will draft second, followed by the Trailblazers and Rockets. Pistons finished with the league worst 17 and 65 record. They're going to pick fifth. That's the fifth straight season the team with the worst record in the league will not select first overall. Sports Centers presented by Progressive Insurance. For a job you'll love, visit progressive.com slash careers. Jokic with one will rise. Contested triple. Goes home at the end of the third. A rainbow finding the pot of gold. The Denver Nuggets take the opener of the Western Conference Finals. 132, 126 the final. Keyshawn J. Will and X presented by Progressive Insurance. And join now. Speaking of high draft picks, Marcus Canby, former NBA 2007 Defensive Player of the Year. What's going on, Marcus? What's going on, guys? How you doing? Thanks for having me. Good morning. Thanks for coming on. So what do you think about game one? What were your thoughts? Oh, my gosh. I just thought it was a phenomenal game. I thought the Nuggets played a tremendous game from start to finish. 
Nikola Jokic, I mean, what more can you say about the guy? He was fantastic in the first quarter throughout the whole ball game, and it came down to a one-possession game going down to the stretch. The Lakers did a great job of coming back, but, you know, Denver was in control of the whole game the whole night. Marcus, um, what do you what what adjustments did you see in the second half that allowed the Lakers to get back in this ball game and how they need to sustain that adjustment moving forward? I honestly think the Lakers found some in Rui Hachimura last night. I thought he came in with great energy. He gave the Lakers another big body to go against Jokic and then gave A D the opportunity of playing off the ball and being that shot blocker that he is. So um I think going into the game, too, I think we should see a lot of Rui going into that game. Marcus, you obviously 2007 Defensive Player of the Year. I want to know from you, what would you do to defend Jokic from getting 21 boards, 14 assists, and 34 points and dominating the game the way he did last night? What would you do to combat that? Well, Jokic is a tough cover for anybody. I mean, it just seems like he was just rolling for the basket to the offensive rebound, getting put tip back, tip back after tip back, and getting themselves easy buckets. And he's just a tremendous player from anywhere on the basketball court. It's amazing how many open shots he's gotten his teammates. It's amazing how when he gets the ball on the block, you know, a guy like Jamal Murray can push his guy off a little bit and come off and get the handoff and get a wide open jumper. So, um, he does a lot of a lot of great things and creates a lot of open spaces for his teammates to, to, to create shots. Camby, it's have you ever seen another player have a it's almost like the best one man offense in basketball, right? Just with the amount of <laughs> influence he has on each and every possession, whether it's a pass, whether it's a shot, whether it's him getting an offensive rebound. Have you ever seen a player impact? the game in a variety of ways that Jokic has? I mean, not from a seven foot perspective, Jay. Um, you know, he's a guy who does it all. I mean, he can dominate a game with his scoring. He can dominate it with his passing and his IQ and rebounding the basketball. He's like a triple quadruple threat each time he catches the basketball. Yeah. It's amazing. Uh, what he can do from that position. I think, I think about like when coming into the league now, Marcus talking to Marcus mm -hmm. Camby, who, by the way, was the second overall pick in the draft and could run the floor and block shots and all that. But now you got guys seven foot and better who can do all of these things. And Jokic is not quite seven feet, but is he proving does or does he have a chance to prove right now that he is, in fact, not just the regular season MVP, not this year, but the past couple of years, but the best player in the league? I mean, without a doubt, and I'm just happy that, uh, you know, the Nuggets are on primetime TV now, so mm. a lot of people don't get to see the Nuggets during the regular season, gets to see the impactful play of a guy like like the Joker. I mean, he literally does it all for that team, and he does it unselfishly, and he does it like he's not athletic. Uh, he doesn't dump the ball that much, but his IQ and the way he plays the ball game, I think teammates love to play with him. I would love to play with a guy like that if I was him. How about, so we've been talking about um, on the show this morning, the fact that as well as he played, as well as Jokic played, I mean, a 30-point a, a triple-double with more than 20 boards, it's unbelievable. And as well as the role players played. I mean, Aaron Gordon didn't play his best right. game, but, you know, a lot of those guys said Jamal Murray had 31 points and the role players were chipping in and all that. The Lakers still on the road, getting caught flat-footed early. All that said, on the road, Marcus, had it a one down 25 in the third quarter, made it a one possession game late in the fourth. How are you feeling this morning? If you're a Lakers fan, I'm feeling great. I feel that, um, like I said, the walk the course of the ball game, I think with Archie Moore coming into the ball game, I think uh, coach Ham have figured something out that they can carry into game two. We're getting him more minutes and playing him a little bit. Like I was saying earlier, more on Jokic, but, uh, I mean, the Nuggets, man, just their role players, like he was saying. Just think of a guy like Bruce Brown. You know, he came in. He's like a switch blade out there. He plays multiple positions. He plays with a lot of energy. He plays with a lot of effort. And, you know, when you play like that, the ball just.